getting tired way of the real estate crap here in Annapolis, Maryland. Let's talk about flood insurance for a minute. Before we do that, you got your sense of humor on? I got mine on. Here we go. Um, the flood insurance program uh, is in the hands of the federal government, as most of you know. That program expired on Sunday night, the 29th of March. We're now Tuesday, the 30th of March. It expired and Congress left town, and word is they'll probably be back on the 12th of April. I think it's a couple weeks down the road. And then they, they'll probably pick up and consider renewing the flood insurance program after they return. Well, that's real great because that means homeowners who want to buy a property that is either waterfront or is in a flood zone that requires flood insurance are in limbo because the lenders, in fact, Freddie Mac issued an update today, are still requiring flood insurance, which doesn't exist right now. I don't know how to deal with this mentally other than to say it doesn't make any sense to me to have tax credits, to have all kinds of government programs designed to stimulate the housing market and then remove or refuse to or fail to or forget to whatever renew a program that is very important to, to a certain segment of that market. If that makes sense to you, give me a, give me a shoot me an email, tyweb at recrab.com. Even if it doesn't make sense to you, I'd like to hear from you. tyweb at recrab.com. In the meantime, keep your sense of humor going and make it a great day.